I've been to France several times and trying to find authentic Parisian food in America, I haven't had the best luck. So when I found the restaurant Brasserie by Niche, I thought, we gotta try this. It was located in an upscale area of St. Louis. We did have to pay for parking and the seating was very limited. So you for sure want to make reservations. The minute we walked in, I was already so happy. The atmosphere was so authentic and the food truly was amazing. For a starter, we decided to try the cheese puffs. We weren't 100% sure what they would be, but we were very, very happy when they came out. They were delicious. They were basically a really light and fluffy French cheese pastry. I would highly recommend them. I will not be going back to this restaurant without getting them again. Everyone received bread and butter at the table and I was so excited when I saw that it was real French baguette bread. It was so very good. I liked it so much that I definitely asked for more. So it's nice to know that you can ask for more if you want it. Instead of bread for an appetizer, the waiter brought out some potato chips for me. They were very good house-made potato chips. They had a hint of salt to them and they seemed to be like kettle cooked. Very good potato chips. For my meal, I got the bistro steak and fries. Excellent steak, cooked to perfection. Even had it kind of sliced for me, very delicious. But what really made the steak enjoyable was the garlic herb butter. It was excellent. With the combination of the steak, it was delicious. They also had a garlic herb mayonnaise that came with, uh, I guess it was for the french fries. It was very delicious. I would definitely have some more of that. Very, very good food. What I loved about the restaurant specifically is the very authentic French feel. For my gluten-free option, I asked the waiter what could be made gluten-free. And he told me that the roasted chicken could be made gluten-free instead of having a bread and au jus that he could do broth and potatoes. And then it also comes with mushrooms. So I had chicken, mushrooms, potatoes, and broth all in a nice skillet. It was very tender chicken. You had a breast and then you had a thigh and both were just probably some of the most tender chicken I've ever had. Uh, it was a very good flavor. I would definitely recommend getting it for anyone that needed to try a gluten-free or a chicken meal. There were other gluten-free options to try there, but this one's what sounded best to me. Highly recommend it and would eat it again. For my meal, I decided to get the French onion soup as well as a side of macaroni and cheese. The French onion soup was to die for. It was so incredible. When I was in Paris, I ordered French onion soup at a French cafe and it was amazing. I will actually go as far as to say that this French onion soup was even better than that was. It was incredible. The flavors were very rich and creamy. The cheese on top of the soup was very thick. It actually was quite stringy and I had a little bit of difficulty eating that, but it was delicious. The macaroni and cheese was also very good. The sauce on it was very rich and creamy. There was plenty of it. It also was topped with some breadcrumbs and it normally would come with chives but I requested that they leave the chives off of mine. It was so good. Once again the cheese was a little bit strong but it wasn't too strong or overpowering. It was very pleasant and I really enjoyed it. For my meal I got the braised beef. It came with potato puree, glazed carrots, and bacon and I was very surprised that the star for me of the whole dish was actually the bacon. It was truly heavenly. The bacon was very thick cut and it had like this glaze over it. Oh my goodness. It truly was amazing. It had like a little bit of a smoky flavor too. Exceptional. The beef was also very good, but there wasn't anything extraordinary about it. The potatoes were very creamy and very good. The carrots were a little bit al dente for my taste, but the flavor was still very good. For my dessert, I got the blood orange pineapple Severian cake. Came with a white chocolate ice cream and had uh, chunks of grilled pineapple throughout the dessert. Very tasty. If you like pineapple, I would definitely recommend getting it. If you're not a pineapple lover, there are better options on the menu, but it was a delicious cake and I definitely would try it again. For dessert, I got the chocolate mousse. It came with uh, cocoa crumbles and brown sugar. It also had a cookie that came with it, but they excluded that and put it on the side so that others at the table could eat it if they wanted to. It was a very rich, dark chocolate mousse which was right up my alley because I love dark chocolate. The whipped cream gave it a good flavor as well. Highly recommend that. There was some other uh, gluten-free desserts on the menu. This was just what sounded better to me. I ordered their signature dessert, which is their floating island. There was no description on the menu, but we asked the waiter and he said that it was a French meringue with a cinnamon sugar caramel sauce and toasted almonds. And I don't think I was quite prepared for it when I took my first bite because to say that this was heavenly is an understatement. It was absolutely divine. If I go again, which I will just for the dessert, 
desserts. I probably will get it without the toasted almonds because the almonds were such a strong flavor, which isn't bad, but it took over the flavor of the meringue and the sauce, which was definitely the star. It was amazing. As we already mentioned, we've been to France and this restaurant was definitely up there. The quality was top notch. It was so authentic and amazing. The flavors were incredible. You definitely have to give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more food and travel videos.